my first Sunday here. As soon as I walked in, I was like, okay, this like feels like a place that could be home. And as we walked out the front door, he said, what do you think? And I just went, yep, I'm in. <laughs> All my roommates and I cried because we we're like, we found our church on the first Sunday that we tried. I haven't stopped going since. Vintage's message coming in was, to me, it was powerful because it wasn't a message that made me feel like I wasn't Christian enough to be here. I felt very welcome, uh, and I think I think a lot of people feel that coming in, no matter where they are in their faith. That's the magic source of vintage. They care so much about the people and their journey, and it's no longer stuffy, it's refreshing. It's no longer dark, it's light. That's the good news about the church. So here's the church in 1925. What's the first memory that you have of coming to the church, the old church? Well, I had, I was just, I had just started a job in nine, early 1960 as a nurse at Santa Monica Hospital. And I asked one of the nurses, um, did she know of a church nearby? And she said, I hear there's a wonderful church at 10th in California. Anyway, I attended, I loved it. There was so, so many wonderful things going on. And, I've never left. There was no reason to ever leave. And that was the beginning. 61 glorious years. Yeah. My name is Barry Smith, and I've been here since uh, 1971. You know, the pews have gone. The color scheme is different. We were pink and blue. You have to remember back in uh, 68, early 70s, everybody wore suits, the women wore dresses, there was a lot of hats, a lot of wigs, just a lot of, a lot of stuff that really didn't make any difference. The most important thing that's changed is the spirit. Now the church is full, they're listening, they're taking notes during the sermon, they're having a good time, and they're growing visibly every Sunday. And so if you judge them not by what they wear and not how they look, but what's going on inside them, you're seeing transformation. And change is difficult, but you're seeing it happen all the time. Wow, these Are they are the actual glass? I thought they were plastic. My name is Gare. I'm Lizzie. And we planted Vintage Church together way back in 2011. <laughs> he said, well, before I start looking into where God might have us, is there anywhere you definitely will rule out? And I said, there's only one place I will not go, and that is Los Angeles. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> In the midst of the hardship, there was clear evidence that God was with us. Yeah. But it was just a lot of hard work, mm. you know, and a big change from comfortable suburbia in mm. the South to three kids shoehorned into one bedroom and LA, I came to visit and LA broke my heart. I could have missed the greatest adventure of my life if God had answered my human desires of a safe, comfortable suburban life for the kids. Because part of my fear of coming out of suburbia into a city was that my kids would never know Jesus personally. They'd never know his adventure and grace and love and sense of joy and fun that you can have by knowing Jesus and how that makes you complete as a person. And that was my tearful, on my knees moment with God before we came. It was like, I need you to come through for my kids. I will follow you, but you have to take care of them. And he did. We've prayed as a family for some pretty significant things and they've watched God answer it. And so they can say, I've seen God at work in my family life and I watched a church be built in a way that my parents couldn't have done alone.
vintage represents uh, the, ha the, you know, the most joyful time in my life. This church has been like deeply a part of my formation in becoming more like Jesus and being transformed. He always said, I have a crush on Rich. <laughs> so I was like, well, we better go there. <laughs> it was the best thing that actually happened to me anyway, up until that point. And it was a church that um, uh, preached the full gospel. Uh, I said, there's something for everybody, socially and spiritually. There's something for everybody to be involved in this church. And people tolerate us in spite of our great age. So it's been, um, <laughs> It's just been a good overall experience. Gear asked everybody to close your eyes and he said, if you are ready to take that next step uh, towards Jesus, raise your hand. <coughs> and I, I raised my hand. And, uh, so afterwards, I get emotional. <laughs> but I shared that with her, you know. And, uh, and so that's, that's, I feel so fortunate right now to have found this community. Uh, where it is about and really getting to know Jesus and, and to, to live in the, live in the uh, image of God. I feel like there has been a renewed sense of, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's the Holy Spirit for sure, but it's this sense of like, there's something going on and people are hungry for what they're, they're coming here and they're finding something that they're hungry for and they're finding something that they need and something that they feel missing in their lives. When we can gather with other people during the week, it makes the load of whatever we're going through easier to get by and, and to get through it and to be around others who kind of get you. Getting swept up in anything with Jesus makes it all worthwhile. You know, we all have in common that there is that bit of brokenness that we do have. You know, so the solution that uh, I've found um, is is through faith. You know, it is the grace that I was given and the faith that I've uh, been able to foster, build uh, in my relationship with Christ. And vintage is, uh, you know, it's like the 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 house where all that's that's happened, all that's taking place. It reminds me of the quote that Winston Churchill said that like our like we shape our buildings and then they shape us. A hundred years of this church shaping people in Los Angeles has had an effect. People walk into Vintage Church and they're renewed. Like there is, there is something beautiful about this campus and the legacy that it represents and the legacies that it will represent for years to come. And I deeply believe that if we can shape individuals here at Vintage Church, um, in a way that looks more like Jesus, we can shape Los Angeles. This building has played an important role since it was built in 1950 of helping people discover Jesus for the first time. I look at the whole city, I think there's millions of people we have to invite to explore Jesus. And so we just have to expand capacity as much as we can, knowing there's a hunger to do that as well.